bounced around. Hopefully, the lag will s have stopped by now. Um, apologies about the technical difficulties. And it's two versus one in favour of Kick Roman, the man with three kills. And uh, they're just going to take the bomb all the way to the A bomb site. And Khan is going to try and track him down, Chewy. Yeah, indeed. They managed to take over that B bomb site uh, with relative ease. And they got in there and they could have planted the bomb there, but decided against it. And as we can see on your screen, Roman is just going to finish that off. So unless Khan uh, can do a one versus two retake here on the A site, this is going to be the first round on the board for the T side from Portugal. So yeah, if you didn't uh, watch it earlier on, we actually have already covered on call today. They played Titan in the winners bracket, and they lost in pretty unconvincing fashion in their behalf. Anyway, 16-7 uh, on Inferno and then 16-3 on Mirage was the final scores there with Titan, of course, then confirming themselves a spot at Cologne. So congratulations to them indeed. Uh, but that's just going to finish off the first round there. Kick, obviously winning that one. Now they're evidently going to be able to buy up here. And the more rounds that they can get on this T side, the more happier they will be, of course. But Kaina, I'm going to say it from the start. Who's going to be your predictions for this best of three? Um, kick. Quite simply yep. due to the fact that they've been together as a team a lot longer than Encore have. Obviously Encore... We have Disturbed and Natu, who were in the old Ents lineup, but uh, as I have a funny feeling it's going to take a bit more than that to, to rip through Kick. And once Fox gets the AWP in his hand, then my word, it's going to take it's going to take Gabe Newell to stop him. Yeah, I, I agree with that statement indeed. <laughs> so uh, we'll see if Encore are going to be able to uh, to pick it up and, and show us a bit more resilience than they did earlier on in the first game of the day that we managed to bring you on. Um, but you never quite know. Uh, anything can happen in CS. We've seen some crazy upsets uh, recently, and uh, we'd love to see another close game here if we possibly can do. Of course, by the looks of things, this should be um, an anti-eco win here for Kick, unless Encore can come up with something big on their eco. They have actually got a P250 and a 3 c 75 so you never quite know. As soon as we do say that, they've actually picked up two Reflex with two P250 kills to start off. Box responds though onto uh, Khan, and Kildren gets another one as well, so it's actually going to lead things into a 1 versus 3 situation, and it's all going to be left up. So one single player from Kick, and Natu picks up the AK-47 and gets the round, so they're going to reward each other with some rifles coming in there, and surprise, surprise, Uncle with an eco win there, to even things up at 1-1, which is of course now going to force Kick onto an eco of their own, so that was a great round there. Yep, Uncle have completely turned turned the game around. Why does the money thing keep going black? Completely turned the game around from that brilliant eco from them. They took the Portuguese players by surprise. They had that strange boost in graffiti. I can't remember which kick player it was, but it must have literally pooped his pants <laughs> coming round uh, that corner there and spotted them on top of each other. But anyways, yeah. Kick are going to go mid to B. It's uh, quite, a, quite a common thing we see teams do on the Econ dealers do nowadays. Reflex going aggressive, spraying and praying. Reflex gets two. He should be able to get three as well. It's going to be Natu to drop the AWP master for, to, for the Portuguese side. And well, kill dream don't last much longer. 2-1 to Ents and we're already starting to see how important winning that Eco round was for the Finns. Yeah, definitely indeed. And it looks by the you know, by the seams of it that Kick aren't going to uh, be able to afford to buy up here. And actually, a random point, Fox was on 1 HP for the majority of that last round. I know it was an eco, so it didn't really matter too much, but he basically played that entire round on one single point of HP. So here we go, the CT side again, obviously, uh, because they've won two consecutive rounds, they are going to be able to have plenty of money in the bank and be able to afford those all-important rifles. Roman starting to push through the smoke here, and I think he could actually knock a player oh, down, uh, but still... Not too much damage given, and as soon as that round started, it was all over. No casualties for Encore. 3-1 is going to be your score. Now Kick can buy, and here we go. He talks about Fox with that orb just a second ago, and he's picked it up already here in round number five. Yeah, I remember yeah. back during the Alienware Pro League when me and... Um and Banks were casting it, and we were casting actually Fox on Dedos 2. And he doesn't miss through the doors! That's what I was going to talk about. Fox is at it again. He's probably the best mid picker on Dedos 2 in Counter Strike. I kid you not. He just does not miss through those doors. Volvo or Valve have tried to stop him. They've changed the doors from wood to metal, and he can still do it. But unfortunately, as it stands right now, the rest of Kick can't. They are a man down, and they are going to try and make their way towards short. We've got Natu who's playing aggressive at long. Zarte is going to be the man with the AK to watch short. Unfortunately, can't pick off any of their heads. And now you do have to wonder how long it's going to take for kick uh, for Encore, sorry, to rotate men over to the A bomb site. 
Indeed, and they've actually been playing relatively aggressive on the CT side here. We saw that the one player went right into upper dark and got an initial frag. I believe it actually was on Mutt there, but I, I can't quite remember at the start of the round indeed. But the bomb has been planted, so not all over here for kick whatsoever. And the retake has got to come in at some point here. Disturbed is only on 7 HP, so he's definitely got to be careful. And the man on your screen, Mr. Natu, moving his way up towards Long, just manages to pick up that kill onto Fox, but already he's the last one left alive. And this has been a great hold here so far from Kick. Is it going to be all that they need to do here? Natu trying to go for that fake defuse there. And he's going to be able to get onto the site. He picks up one. Is he going to be able to pick up Roman here? I'm not too sure if he's going for the defuse. He has actually been able to get it. Let's jump on board with him. He hasn't got enough time to defuse. He's going to pick up that up. I'm not sure if he's going to blow up. He does. So that was very, very close indeed. Yeah, okay. Encore did have the man advantage. But still, Kit just about somehow able to hold on to that round thanks to the bomb timer blowing up. Zarte's going to pick up an AWP there. Of course, Kick now having to rebuy all of their weapons as they all did go down. And 3-2 uh, is going to be your score, Kaya. I'm not sure Natu realised that there was actually a Molotov on short because technically yeah. that other terrorist couldn't push him and stop him from defusing as long as the fire was on the floor unless he wanted to stand in the midst of the fire himself. And um, um, unfortunate from Natu, but now we're finally going into the proper proper buy round where both teams have big bad weapons. We've got M4s all round, bar for Zarte, he's going to be the main AWP for the Finns. And, well, Fox has opted to go for an AK-47 rather than an AWP, and they have left the bomb outside of Long. So, let's just go over to Kick and see what they, what, what they have in mind, because at the moment... They are, when you've got short control, it gives you the opening to go it, to go mid to B, and it also gives you the opening to go towards A for obvious reasons, and it's really difficult to predict what Kicker is going to try and do from this point onwards. The bomb was outside along, now it's moved over all the way towards B. Fox, we were just talking about how, how crucial short is. He, that allowed him to go down to lower tunnels. Killdream, however, explodes at mid. Showstick is going to come through B tunnels. He's going to drop Disturbed. And we're starting, I'm starting to see flashbacks. I need to sort, my, sort, sort out how to bloody talk. I think I've forgotten how to talk uh, in that <laughs> break. But we're starting to see, well, I'm starting to see flashbacks of what we saw from Encore against Titan, where we have players getting done from behind. Um, so easily. I don't understand how being that B player is disturbed in the B bomb site, you can just turn your back towards uh, lower tunnels when a mid to B push is happening. It's almost a bit yeah. of a communication issue. Yeah, maybe so. That could be the case. Yeah, I've been able to pick up a good f couple of kills here on the exit frags, but it doesn't look like it's going to go in Encore's way. So, of course, we did see them um, with that huge eco win earlier on, um, and they are just forcing those exit kills, making sure that it kick are going to have to rebuy at least three rifles here, but all the same, Khan the only one surviving by the looks of things, and there we go, 3-3 three, three is your score, so all even heading into round number 7 we go, and show 6, that's going to pick up that RP, he's going to drop it, I would have thought, and give it to Fox by the looks of things, um, he's going to pick it up, I'm not too sure what's going on. There we go. He has got it. Has he got enough time to pick through oh. mid? No, because Arte is going to take him out straight away to start things off. So Fox not quick enough. And that's what happens when you have to drop that weapon, move all the way over to it, and then peek. Not enough time onto it, unfortunately, there. So Shao is going to pick up that AWP, which he did initially drop there. But the man advantage already in favor of the CT side from Finland. And I'm not quite sure what the T's are actually going to do in this round and where they're going to be heading. We've got one in the upper B tunnels at the second. We've got two making their way towards mid. And the bomb is actually still in T spawn. And it's such a dangerous place to potentially leave that because if you're pushed up towards that mid map area and really progressing far up the map and then your player gets picked at T spawn, you have to rotate all the way back and get that bomb again. It can waste a lot of time potentially, but still, it looks like they could be, you know, starting to commit towards a B push here. Killdream's going to make his way in. He's going to find two. He's going to be able to get one. Gets the headshot. Eventually gets taken down. Roman responds on to Disturb there. And that's going to even things up into a three on three situation. But now, it looks like the B retake has got to come in. And the bomb's been planted over towards B. And that was a nice take there from Kick. I like the way they do that. Let's see if they can hold on to it. Yeah, there we go. Down goes Natu. Zarte with the AWP. They're actually going to try and retake this bomb site. Three versus two. The B bomb site, because it's so tight, it's so difficult to try and retake it with the AWP. I think they might fall back. Khan is going to see if he can get an exit flag. He's not going to be able to. But he gets one. Khan gets Ooh. two. And is it on the cards? It is. Khan burns Roman to death. But I don't think he'll be able to get the defuse on time. No, he will. Bomb has been defused. Wow. And wow. Well, that was all about Khan. Three man just retaking the bomb site by himself. 
And I wanted to talk about how poorly Encore have held the B-bomb site so far. But I'll tell you what, Chewie, if they keep retaking it like that, then I don't think they'll be too worried. No, definitely not. And you've got to think again with the mental game of Counter-Strike, how much that's going to play in their mind there, and, you know, positively for Encore and how that's going to play in their mind negatively for Kick. They were all over that B-bomb site. There was a complete retake. It looked like it was going to have to happen for Encore. And I think Kick almost maybe got a tiny bit too cocky and thought the round could have already been in the bag. Mm. It wasn't the case, though, and they really cannot take this side from Finland too lightly. Everybody in the chat loving that one, and I watched it back as well on the stream. And, yeah, it doesn't get any less impressive no matter how many times I'm sure we can watch that single retake from that one man. But here we go, we're into round number eight, Encore regaining their lead. And you can see them pushed up quite aggressively towards Long here. The only player that they're going to meet initially is actually going to be Fox. But in comes the push towards Catwalk, let's see what they can do. Khan, the man who had that phenomenal play in round number seven, he's got that incendiary grenade in hand, and he's just going to be waiting any second to see if he can pick anybody up. Mutt gets the first kill though onto Natu, and that's going to open up that A bomb site. Arte does respond, so does Khan as well, so making things a four on three situation as things stands. Kick have got the bomb down though, and let's see if Encore can get another retake here, but this time on to the A bomb site. It's all going to be left up to Roman. He finds one, he's going to get taken down though, lovely retake. Coming in from Encore, they've got plenty of time left to defuse. And that was a really good take. They didn't mind letting kick onto that A bomb site. They knew where they were all coming from, considering the fact that they had such good control onto Long. They managed to rotate back up through there, and that's going to give them, once again, that two round advantage. And 5 3 is your score going to round number 9. Yep, round number 9. And Encore, based on what they've shown us so far, they really are masters of the retake. They retook the A bomb site with easy. It, it, almost looks like what Titan looked like playing against Encore early on. And it's worth mentioning that Kick is, uh, Diesel 2, sorry, is Kick's map. Zarte gets one, Zarte will get oh. the double, and with Kick on this eco, it's not looking good for him. Bear in mind, guys, that Diesel 2, most people do agree, it is a terrorist-sided map. Reflex pulls the Deagle out, gets one, he'll get three, and just a uh, bog-standard anti-eco bash from Encore. Yeah, indeed. Zarte, the only casualty there. And, of course, he did manage to pick up two big kills with that ult to start things off. So, Reflex is going to drop him his op, And we'll see if he can continue that good work with it. Fox deciding not to go for an op here. So, five AK-47s it's going to be from the side from Portugal. And they're three rounds already behind. So, Encore, if they went into the halfway mark with this six rounds on the board, they'd be relatively happy with that. But the more rounds they can rack up on the board here in quick succession, the better it's going to be. Again, an aggressive push from the CTs as Khan was in Noah Dark. But he gets taken out straight away from Mutt to start things off. It is a 4 on 4 situation though, and we can see the smoke grenades coming down onto short to try and stop any pushes. But Roman pushing through aggressively, and here we go, the push comes in from Catwalk. They're going to try and get on this A bomb site as quick as possible, and it looks like it could have to be another retake coming in here from Encore. But with the way that they've been handling these retakes so far, they may all be well too happy to do that. One minute and four seconds left on the clock. Of course, that's going to disappear now as the bomb does get planted. Uh, but I really wouldn't put it past the Finns here to get another retake. No, not at all. They've already taken down one and disturbed onto Roman. The flashes are going to get lobbed out towards short where they will have Fox waiting for them. Zarte drops Fox, disturbed, drops Mutt, and it's all down to Showsick S2, whatever his name stands for. It's two versus one. Disturbed is going towards him. Disturbed nails him in the head to get his third kill of the round, and he should be able to get the defuse. He will. Yeah, he will indeed. So 7-3 it is. Encore extending their lead to four now. And actually the icon there on that Bayonet Crimson Web is... Not actually right. I think there's something going wrong with the graphics there, which is definitely quite interesting indeed, but just a, a random little point to the side. Kick's still able to buy here, so they've still got five AK-47s, uh, but they've got to start making their return back into this game as soon as possible, because they could be in big trouble if they are not careful. And having a look at it, they're sending one over in that B-bomb site. They've got one player, which is Reflex in mid, uh, two on the A-bomb site, and then Khan is actually making his way right down towards pit area in long, and he's the man on your screen at the very second. So, Bomb making its way up towards mid. Kick looking like they definitely need to try and get some work done very, very quickly indeed, but already in round number 11. This game is going quick, and when Zarte picks up shots like that on Catwalk, you're already going to be in big trouble. And I love that little spot there from Zarte. I don't think they would have been expecting him to, standing up there on, on, on Catwalk in that fashion. Yep, and that's what it takes sometimes, Chewie. Sometimes that element of surprise is all that it takes to get an easy kill. And 
good kill for the Finns. It was the opening kill. The opening kill can give you such a momentum advantage. The Finns, they play 2 in B. And now those 2 in B have a, a heck of a load of Portuguese players to deal with. Oh my god, Zarte just walked past Mutt. Mutt surely will get this kill. Yes, he will. And there has the Portuguese fight back begun. I think I spoke too soon. The commentator's curse definitely kicked in. And now Mutt has it all to do. 4 versus 1. Spots reflex to his left. Will know that there's someone to his right. They know exactly where he is. And uh, Khan is all eyes on lower, so he's absolutely surrounded at the moment. Yeah, there's no chance here that Mutt's going to be able to pick up anything here and, and win the round. If he does, it'll be the shock as a century, but Re uh, Reflex finishes him off in quick fashion with that AK-47. 8-3 is your score. Who would have predicted it? And I can see the chat getting pretty mad here. The Finnish fans um, are very, very happy indeed, uh, but the fans of Kick are already starting to swear and get a tiny bit angry here, so this is definitely looking like it's going to be an interesting best of three, whatever way it goes. And Kick on this T side, forced down to an eco. The last thing that you want on a side that you're more favoured on, on a map, is to be forced down onto an eco. You know, that, that pretty much goes for every single map possible. And Zati still has that ever-powerful orc in hand, but Khan is going to start things off, taking out Kildream with that AK-47, and he's going to get a second one there. He's just on point with this rifle so far. Yes, it is an eco around here for Kit, but Encore, oh, wow. Look at him, he's just picking people off in quick fashion indeed. It's just target practice for him, and he's going to get four. Yes, he does. Four headshots for Khan in round number 12. 9-3 is your score, and unless Kit can pretty much pick up every single round from now on, uh, this could already be GG's here in the first map. Yeah, this is the thing. I right? discussed it early on, that Kit chose DDoS 2. Kit are renowned for being very, very good on DDoS 2, and they've definitely not showed up here, unless they're going to play some sort of brilliant CT style like uh, CT side like Encore do, Encore do. And to be fully honest with you, I don't think Encore have played a brilliant CT side. Granted some of their retakes have been good, but the only reason the retakes have been good is because Kick have done stupid things. Like for example, yeah. the bomb is down, just sit in front in front of the bomb, play it cool, calm and collected. There's no need to go aggressive and push the CTs, especially when the CTs have M4s for example, which are good at close range and good for spraying and kick at the moment they, they 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 haven't shown up but something tells me that they might win this round no spoilerino but here we go Mutt is gonna go on to short with roman his uh, right hand man fox is just waiting outside along with show sick and kill dream now the Finns have opted to play one in b this time and this is the thing that sort of confused me about the Finns when they play one in b um Disturbed is watching B ramp, but why when Reflex is there, which is what what baffles me, and which is what saw him uh, fall to his death early on in the round when terrorists came through tunnels, but they're not coming through tunnels, they're coming through long and short, and they're being shut down. Fox, oh, oh good wow. smoke, good stuff from Khan, and well, Khan has been brilliant at long, and Fox says lol, and he can't believe his luck. Yeah, no, indeed. It's just repeating our statement there. Khan has really been on top of everything at long. Okay, yeah, we did see him get a four-man headshot and kick worrying on an eco, but all the same, uh, proving that he's very accurate with that AK in hand. 16 and 4 is going to be his score. And we're going into round number 14. And two rounds left here in this first half. And Encore are already into double figures. So unless Kit can really come with some sort of a crazy comeback, uh, they're going to need that pistol round, that's for sure. And then this should be Encore with their first map on the board here. We didn't see them have the best first game of the day when they played against Titan earlier on. But since then, they've really started to, to warm up. Here we go. The push comes in towards A. All Havoc is actually breaking loose at the second. Roman on Catwalk at the second. He's going to be met by somebody flagging around the back. And somehow, Reflex didn't get that kill. Knocked down to 12 HP is going to be Roman, who's now going to be taken out eventually by Disturb. But that's going to lead things into a 3 on 2 situation. Are they going to be able to get a successful retake here? With the way that they've been doing it so far, I wouldn't put it past them. The thing that they've got to take into account, though, is that, of course, Kick do have a man advantage. And Zate, the man who's been so on fire with that AWP in this first half here, is only on 41 HP. In come the flash grenades, though. It's not going to really do too much here to kill Jim, though. And he's going to spot one there just by his feet. He's going to hear the other one coming from his right. Takes down Disturbed. And it's all going to be left up to Zate, who's caught right in the middle of everything. He is going to get spotted. Kill Jim finishes him up. And finally, Kick managed to hold a bomb site. Unfortunately, Kildoom is going to get knocked out there by that bomb after his, all of his hard work. But still, I'm wondering if that's, again, almost too little too late here for Kick. Five rounds on a T-sided map like DDoS 2, quite simply. It's just not good enough. Um, and if it ends up being 11-4 at the end of this half, then 
Thank God help them. Leave it at that. But anyways, uh, we've uh, interestingly got Reflex playing mid with the M4. And Zarte has decided to go short with the AWP. So whatever floats their boat, I guess, we have seen... Um, we were talking earlier on, Chewie, about strange surprises. And it's something I felt Encore failed to do against Titan on Inferno. And they're starting to do it to kick here on DDoS 2. And unsurprisingly, they've got a comfortable lead. Yeah, yeah, indeed. And uh, I'm wondering how this last game is going to play off. We kind of talked earlier on about the difference between, uh, in the first series of the day, we talked about the difference between 11-4 and 10-5. It's, it's kind of pretty dramatic, actually, when you, when you think about it in terms of things. But KK looking like they could, they could hold strong and try and get this fifth round on the board for them. That's the only casualty for them. Zate and Natu, the first two on the CT side here for the Finnish team of Encore. And that bomb looks like it's going to be heading in towards B. I'm not quite sure if they are quite aware of that as this stands. Reflex with all of his uh, attention dragged over towards mid. Same with that other player, Disturbed. I do believe that was. And in comes the push towards B. They're going to smoke it off. Kildren's going to pick up one there, as does Showstick. So it's all going to be left up in the hands of Khan, who is actually in mid at the second, but he's got a 1 versus 3 retake. We've already seen him do it once today. Is he going to be able to do it again? I do not blame him whatsoever for going for this. But I still think it's going to be very difficult. Is he going to be able to get two one versus three retakes in the space of one single half? We're about to find out. Kildren has spotted him up there. He's going to put some shots down range, but Khan just managing to try and escape. He's going to push in. Shosik on top of that uh, bomb is in a great position, and that's going to be it. And I was actually casting the other day, or a couple of weeks ago, and I was also listening to some more casting, and, and so many people love when players are on this position where where we see Showstick now, where they plant the bomb and then literally just sit on top of it, because it just creates so many awkward angles for those CTs to try and push in and take that bomb site. But 10-5 is going to be your score confirmed at the halfway mark here. And on core, if they win this pistol round here on the T side, it could be game over very, very quickly here on Dust2, but we'll have to see. Encore, uh, you know, they've not got in the bag quite yet, so you never quite know. Yeah, well, I can't remember who it was. It was Khan. He had to go for it. It was the last round, oh. three versus one. But I was quite disappointed with how Encore tried to retake the bomb site one by one. It was three versus four, I think it was. And Reflex had, had no... He didn't have to push the B bomb site by himself. He went in by himself, and then I think it was Disturbed who tried going in by himself after Reflex's death through window. And there's no need for that. Three versus four, going together, going as a team, and the times where we have seen Encore succeed, and what has made us call them the masters of the retake, is when they do push in together, when they do use coordinated smokes, when they do use coordinated flashes, and they're all talking to each other on their voice comms. And yeah. uh, maybe a bit of complacency, Chewy, because they had such a comfortable 10-5 lead on a T-sided map. Uh, mm. Sorry, it was what was it? It was it would have been 10-4 uh, at, th at that point. Yeah, yeah, it was. So. Um... It's interesting indeed, and we can analyse it loads, but uh, of course these things kind of happen in the heat of the moment, and, and anything can happen just like that. The kick actually going absolutely huge here. It's all going to be left up to reflex, and wow, that B take from, well, yeah, that, that just wasn't successful whatsoever. No casualties whatsoever for the Portuguese side, and Encore looked like they were going to really push in aggressively to that B bomb site and try and take it aggressively. It didn't work whatsoever for them, and they're going to get punished for that here. We can see kick already buying up four fire masses, and then is going to be the name of the game here for kick and is this going to be the start of a comeback here we're about to find out here we are CTs have bought up all FAMASes oh and the FAMASes are being put to work easy peasy lemon squeezy and going into the second half Chewy kick will have wanted to win that pistol round they yeah. should from this point on because Encore haven't managed to get the bomb down either in the first round or second half they should bring it down to 10-8 and truth be told there's not that too much between the teams at 10-8. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So, it's, I like this game that, that it's going in this direction because, you know, with the way that Encore were playing earlier on, it just looked like it could have been GG's yeah, very, very yeah. quickly indeed. Yeah, and it looked like we could have been heading on to map two uh, within very quick fashion. But you can start to show some resilience. Everybody was kind of bashing them in the chat earlier on and wondering why they were playing so bad. Maybe they just needed to warm up and get into the game and start to get it's things rolling. Yeah, exactly indeed, and just confirmation of another score, ladies and gentlemen, going into the halftime mark in map number three. It's Epsilon going up 
against Copenhagen Walls. And uh, Epsilon managed to take the second map after going 16-1 down in the first map on Nuke, that was. And now they are 11-4 up. So Epsilon are 11-4 up going into the CT side of Dust2 against Copenhagen Wall. So confirmation of that score for you. But here we go into round number 18. Reflex picks up the first kill. Muck does respond though, so it's 4-4 four four as things stand. And if Encore can get the bomb down here, they're going to be very, very happy indeed. Roman's been spotted in uh, CT spawn. He's going to get taken out. And one has been planted, so the T's aren't going to be too worried about this. And Khan has been able to pick up that M4. So let's see if Kick can do a successful retake here onto A. It looks like they could do in any second. Khan's going to get taken out eventually with a pistol. Uh, but Encore, all the same. They've got three frags there, Kai Knight, and they've got the bomb plant. So not the worst eco round for them ever. And they will be able to buy up here in the next round, which is round number 19. Yeah. We'll see uh, the M4s come out. Probably see Fox buy an AWP as well. From what my memory, from what I can remember, I don't think he plays with the AWP on the CT side. Um, well, tell a lie, he's got one now. So, uh, you know what? Let's go and have a look at what he's going to do. No, that's Roman. Where is Fox? Here he is. He's going to get boosted onto short. And he does have someone coming mid his way. Oh, hello. Look at this. Fox is now. That's, that's an interesting boost. He should get the Piccolo. Wow. Yes, he will. And again, going back to when we were talking that on, about Encore making those little surprise movements, those little those those little things that take your opposition by surprise that they don't expect that you can get an opening frag from. Now Kick have completely turned the table and they're doing it now. Fox spots someone and now that he's got the AWP should be able to aim in on him. Oh, Fox doesn't normally miss from there. But I do wonder whether that'll, that'll end up being a miss. That he'll uh, live to regret. Yeah, indeed. And guys, I'm just having a look in the chat. I'm sorry to distract away from the uh, uh, the uh, action that's going down, but please try and stop posting spoilers in the chat. I have got my ban handle ready, so if you are just going to keep posting spoilers, whether they're real or whether you're just tro trolling, I will time you out happily anyway. So if we could have some mods on top of that as well, please don't. If anybody is getting annoyed with it going on, uh, just make sure to, to close the chat or something. But have a look at this. Roman's going big with that M4A1 in hand. That's going to finish things off. So that's going to be 10-9. Still in favour of Encore, but Kicker really stuck starting to come back into this game and it looks like the T's are going to be forced down onto another eco again so uh, yeah I know that a couple of people are trolling but uh, we are just going to time people out if they're going to start posting scores early because it ruins the atmosphere for everybody who's just trying to watch and keep up with the action live as we are here. Yeah we'll make sure no one uh, lets anyone know that the game has gone into overtime that it's 15. But anyways here we go Natu is going to stampede up long in fact all of them doing the nothing flashbang dance Thanks to all those CT flashbangs and all the CTs falling all the way back to the A bomb site, and I probably can't blame them. But Encore do have long control, which is important. If they can get a few men on short, maybe have the guys at long push up together, they might be able to surround them and outnumber them. But only time will tell, because Fox does have the AWP. And I'm sure none of these Encore players will be wanting to peek him at long with that AWP at large. Anyways, here we go. Fox is spot someone. Oh, gets the kill. And little does he know that he's going to have a few more coming his way as well. Mutt and Shosix are going to be doubling up on short. He goes towards Reflex, nails him in the head. Fox gets his second. He will go down. And maybe, just maybe, Encore, as a matter of fact, might be able to get this bomb down and hold this A bomb site from here. It'll be two versus two, but Mutt is on incredibly low low HP, but Lil does can't know that the CTs are actually coming his way. Oh, Nails one in the head. He should be able to get two because that other CT was on very, very low HP. Good kill from Natu. Mutt on only 12 HP, and are, are the Finns going to actually turn this one around at three versus two? It looked like they were getting absolutely demolished trying to run up long by Fox and trying to go run up short. Um, I think it was uh, by reflex but yeah. my word they turned it around and Natu probably one of the best Finnish players out there showing us what he's well and truly made of yeah indeed 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 so there we go 11-9 is going to be your score and I can see the mods just going crazy in the chat banning people for posting scores if they're posting scores which have already been confirmed because we just said that I just saw somebody get timed out for posting and it was 10-9 and it was 10-9 on the scoreboard so that's not really calling out scores too early so mods don't go too crazy on these guys if they are just talking about scores which have already been confirmed by us but here we go round number 21 we go already lots of casualties Muck going down for the CT side and we can see now too and disturbed are out for the count here as well well and there's that last round which Uncle managed to pick up very very you know calmly and well indeed going to be the start of them carrying this through to victory here on dust 2 we're about to find out 
They're stacked up on catwalk as we can see. And we've got one player towards long doors, which I believe is Shosik. And we've also got Fox just looking back over towards catwalk from long as well. Two players also stacked up on B. So that would kind of suggest that kick aren't exactly too short the second where this push is going to come from. And it'll be interesting to see if Encore change things up or what they're going to do. Reflex is going to get that smoke down over towards A. In comes more smokes and in comes the flashes as well. And in comes the push up catwalk. Now the rotation comes in. We can both see Kill Dream and Roman coming their way through. Zate's going to pick up Fox there to start things off. But a Molotov comes in to stop them planting that bomb on A and D. So that was very good timing indeed. And what's that going to do here from? We've only got 30 seconds left on the clock. Reflex picks up two there. Nice shots coming from him. Kildreen is eventually going to get taken out from Zarte. 12 line is your score. And Encore, well, they start to pick, the, pick up their momentum, which they lost for a few minutes there. Yeah, they did lose it. And it was starting to get tight, really tight, when you consider that this first half was, was it 10-5 or 11-4? It was 10-5. So 11-9, I'm pretty sure that the Finns started to get a little bit shaky. But hey, they finally won that round. They are on the cheaper terrorist side. They won the round. They'll be able to buy. And they have forced Kick, despite their dominance in the first few rounds, to Eco. So it's USPs all round. No CZ-75s even. They want to go all in onto this eco, and I think they'll just, just be wanting to get it out of the way, quite simply enough. They are going to push tunnels. They want to constrict the map, and they're going to spot Natu. We know how overpowered the silenced USP is if you can get a dink or two, but unfortunately, Roman not capable of getting it just there, and Mutt is going to rotate round to give Killdream the extra, extra support he needs. But hello, Natu in T-spawn. Khan should be able to get this frag onto uh, Show 6. That is the most... Difficult name I've ever tried casting. Show six. <laughs> I actually see Mutt is going to try and get the kill into Reflex. Unfortunately, with all the head armor and the armory coming in, there, it's not going to work. And Khan with the pizza molly onto the A bomb site, he's going to be able to pick up one there. And I really you know I'm going to talk about this when the game wraps up, no matter what the scoreline. But Khan has really been one of the outstanding players here in the entire game. And he's looked so strong with that AK 47, no matter what side he's on. Of course, we've got to remember when on call on the CT side, he was able to pick up an AK and keep it for quite a few rounds. And he was single handedly stopping bomb site pushes uh, throughout that time. But 39 is going to be your score on call. Only three rounds away from confirming the first map. And if you are worrying in the chat about your beloved kick team, if you are a fan of them, do not worry, guys. They've still got a chance to come back into this game, of course, because it is a best of three. And they are going to be able to buy up those M4s in the hand here. So let's see what they can do. Fox pushing aggressively towards long doors. It's going to take out Nato to start things off. And what is that going to do to Encore here? They've completely stopped outside long doors. I'm not quite sure where they're debating to go next. Well, they're all outside of A. It'd be nice to see Kill Dream and Roman actually push into B tunnels and constrict the map, check that it's clear here, check that mid is clear even. That way the CTs can rotate early, they know exactly where to go. But good good flashes and smokes going out at long again. It should be an easy kill in pit for the Portuguese team. Or have I spoken too soon? Fox is going to drop one. Finally, Khan and Reflex putting those AKs to good use. But they it is still even Steven, sorry, at three versus three. And little do they know that Mutt is actually hiding a car. Actually, Khan seems to know he's there. Not quite sure how he seems to know he's there. Um, they'll have definitely spotted him after jump in. And oh, Mutt gets the kill. He should be able to get a second. They know exactly where he is. This is the second time they try to blow him up with those grenades. And he's still standing strong. He's still alive. And is it going to take the Molotov to drop him? Oh, his HP is dropping. And finally, Mutt gets burned to death. But... This is a bit irrelevant. Well, it's not really irrelevant. Let's concentrate on this, and then I'll uh, pick your brains about it, Chewie. Reflex and Zarte are going to push up long, but they do have someone coming from behind. Kill Dream gets one, Roman gets the other. But I was actually, during our little break after the Titan Encore game, I was looking on Reddit, and a lot of people were talking about how... How much better, how much more damage grenades really need to be in CSGO. Yeah. And I definitely think that in comparison to the 1.6 and Source days. We saw Mutt literally have three grenades lobbed at him. And even though he had armor, they should kill him. Yeah, they, they, they were right on top of him. I mean, the first one came in as a kind of precautionary thing, as you would expect when you're pushing up Lon. It's all, always, you know, it's always great to get a grenade in there just to try and confirm if anybody's going to be in that spot there behind the car. And he peeked out after that. Two more, you know, frag grenades came in after that, and it was only a molly that came in uh, to finish things off, which eventually took him down. And I agree with that statement. You know, four grenades into one specific area should be enough to kill virtually an entire team, let alone one player. But still, all the same, the CTs did manage to pick up the round, and already in round number 24, it's going to be a two-on-two -two situation. 
13 10 is your score as you can see at the top and Encore are going to be able to get the bomb down here so let's see if Kit can retake this Fox and Showsick with an AK and a Famas in hand one's going to be going through up a darker thing stand and one towards mid at the second which is kind of just your standard push when you're going to be uh, taking over this B-bomb site of course so let's see what they're going to do in come the flash grenade Zarte trying to hold this B-bomb site as quickly as possible and he's going to be able to find Showsick there coming through up a dark and it's all going to be left up in the hands of Fox he's only on 30 HP and he's on that bomb site actually as things stand he's going to back away from that no he's going to find one let's see if he can find the other he's not got enough time to defuse and Zarte has played this phenomenally well just hiding behind the box picks up the final kill he's going to blow up here but all the same, it doesn't matter that he's got a rebuy here because he managed to pick up those two crucial kills there. His kick tried to retake that. And that is going to push Encore now into 14 points. And if they pick up two more, they're going to be able to take this game and force kick to go big in the last two. Yep, and just a small request. Can the mods please uh, step their game up and mature themselves out? And please remove subscribers only mode because, uh, yeah. Um, I think they're just trying to do it to prevent people from doing spoilers, but all the same, spoilers, there's just a very, very small majority of people who are doing uh, the spoilers, and they're getting dealt with properly, so that doesn't mean that you should restrict the rest of the chat from having their fun, so please take it out of subscriber mode and everything like that, and uh, let people enjoy their fun. You can happily ban the people who are uh, destroying the chat with... Um, uh, with spoilers but apart from that everybody is fine and for everybody who is in here and having good fun we hope you are enjoying it because we certainly are indeed this has certainly been an interesting game and we can see Disturbed making his way over towards Catwalk he's already found a player there and Showstick pushing up too aggressively is going to get punished for that yeah okay kick R on an eco here and they have been able to pick up one rifle there as Fox gets the CZ75 kill to the head into Natu but let's see where they go with this one. If they are able to push up long here successfully, this should pretty much be the 15th round confirmed here for Encore because it's going to be a very, very difficult retake indeed. In come the smoke grenades to give themselves cover. Reflex not down to 85 HP, but that's not going to trouble him too much. They've been able to push up long here successfully. And we can see Roman with that SSG in hand. He's going to now be making his way up towards long. And we can also see Fox has just boosted himself up onto Catmore. Here we go, Disturbed gets one. Fox is going to die any second soon by the looks of things. And Encore are going to push themselves onto game point here, Kai Knight. Yeah, they are. Unless Fox can stop them. It's Fox 1 versus 3. Disturbed <laughs> running away. It's not going to be easy. Fox is on low HP. The bomb was planted for long. He's dropped down to CT spawn. He's just trying to get exit frags. He's not going to be able to save that Galil. I do think he's going to get blown up to smithereens. And well, he's going to get shot. Slap bang in the face. And Encore, they were the underdogs according to the community on CSGO Lounge going into this game. And remember, this is Kick's map. And Kick are renowned in, uh, are renowned in CSGO for being thus two masters and well what do you know encore of have, have, have put, uh, put an end to that yeah and i'm really you know happy in, in some ways oh wow great shot there <laughs> that sums up the game so with an SSG. yeah that really does i mean of course you know we don't want to seem biased and you know it would be great to see a close game and i would love for anything here for kick to be able to take the second map if of course they are going to lose this first one but the fact that we saw encore get destroyed earlier on against titan you know they only won 10 rounds overall in two maps the fact that there were so many finish you know, supporters in the chat, and they've stayed around and stayed strong to watch Encore again is absolutely great to see. So I hope they're enjoying this game indeed. And of course, all of you Kick fans out there, I'm definitely hoping for them to come big in the second map and take it into map number three. We go, but it's not all over yet. We can't count Kick out right. This thing stand here on Dust Two. They can do something pretty crazy, although it's going to be difficult now as two players do go down for them. Fox and Killdream out for the count, and in comes the take onto the B bomb site. Natu's going to try and find some shots there over the top. Not in a lovely position towards the door. He's going to find the bomb and that's three already going down for encore i said don't count them out yet and that's exactly why kick showing their resilience here they know exactly where the bomb is it has been able to be picked up here by natu but all the same what looked like a lovely take coming in from encore has completely turned against them here and let's see if they can get this b bomb down successfully hey, here we go natu slap bang on top of the bomb so they don't know show six is coming from tunnels he's gonna nail dist in the face natu goes down and what i wanted to talk about was Encore, in my opinion, only had themselves to blame. You're going to take B, you're going to rush into B, do it properly. You don't smoke double doors, and you pay the price for it, and that's exactly what happened. Mutt got two easy kills spraying with the M4. Yeah, it was as simple as that, and that's that's what I love about CS, and that's why, I, you know, those kind of things are why I switched to this title, because... 
so many little tiny things like that can contribute. One Sorry, single what game did you switch from? Hey, I'm, I'm, I'm joking, I'm joking. But one single smoke grenade like that can be the difference between you know, round win or round lose. Because of that factor, potentially, that's you know, now forced Uncle down to an eco. There's only two left of them uh, alive at the second. Khan has been able to pick up a fan mask. Unfortunately, I don't really think it's going to be able to do too much in confirmation of that as he goes down to show sick. So Zate, last one left alive with that Glock in hand. He's not going to be able to plant the bomb unless he can do something pretty miraculous here over towards long, which is, of course, kind of the main objective that you want to do on an eco round. 15-12, it is kick still banking on, trying to take this map into overtime here. Uh, but Encore, they're going to force things up here by the looks of things. So interesting buy, actually. We've got two Galils, and Zate's got that SSG in hand. And I would have thought that if they lose this round, they could be starting to shake in their boots very quickly. Yep, here we go. Galils for Reflex and Disturb, and Zate with his beloved Scout. They are going to go towards Long, where they'll have three CT to try and deal with. In fact, all the CTs are falling back. It's just, oh, Disturbed with the Galil shot through the smoke. Khan is spraying and praying. Can't get the kill, and it is now four versus four. Fox boosts his teammate on top of the A bomb site as he uh, is all eyes on long to try and see if he can get a kill. Zate is going to try and push short. He's been hurt, hurt very badly by Mutt, but Reflex is going to get the trade and kick. Are they going to crumble this time around? Well, we will have to see indeed. They have got the man disadvantage here, although we've got to take into account that Zate and Reflex are low on HP. Khan, the man on your screen, has been so strong with that AK. He's currently sitting at 27, 0, and 15. So, very, very strong performance from him here on Dust 2. They got that bomb down, and in come the smoke grenades just to slow things down even further. And of course, you know, again, people talk about them a lot, but, you know, we can't really emphasize enough the, you know, how important smokes are. When you get that bomb down, you can finish things off by just stopping them pushing in. Uh, that's going to play so big. Disturb does get two though, and there we go. 16-12 is your confirmed score. Encore with a kind of half force buy, so to speak, if that makes any sense, are going to be able to pick up that 28th round. And going into map number two, the underdogs, in a lot of people's opinions, are going to have that one map lead. So I don't quite know what that's going to do to the Mendel game of kick here, but GG's coming in in the chat, and I definitely agree. A good game indeed here on Dust2. Well, I, you see, the thing is,